Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Top 10 Tunes where we count down the top 10 cartoons a variety of subjects involving all your favorite cartoons. New, old, it doesn't matter. What is it about seeing some of our favorite characters battle out against one another that is so entertaining? We love to see heroes pitted against heroes and villains fight each other for dominance. But sometimes the matches we most want to see will never come to be. Shows crossing over rarely happen and when they do, it is almost never to have the stars battle each other. So today we are counting down the top 10 clashes from separate cartoon universes. From incredibly powerful creatures tearing their world apart in their fight against each other to a test of skill and intelligence between two forces. Here are the top 10 tune battles we love to see. Number 10 Starting off the list is a matchup between two of Cartoon's silliest heroes. The Tick, the Justice Sandwich of America, and Earthworm Jim, a worm hero for all time. And let's not forget about their sidekicks. Arthur, the outer shape accountant with the ability to fly, and Peter Puppy, a young dog with one huge anger issue. Based on the satirical comic series, The Tick is a hero who was assigned by the National Super Institute to protect the city named... Um... The city. City! It is I, the Tick, your destined defender. Show me where it hurts. Alongside Arthur, the two fight crime and stop evildoers. While Arthur's only power is flight, the Tick's powers have never been truly straightforward. However, from the show, we can see that he has super strength and summon vulnerability. But strong as he may be, the Tick is one dim witted superhero. The Tick constantly gets into dangerous situations through his ignorant demeanor, a parody of the good justice abiding heroes we see every day. He's a bit clumsy and is always spewing out nonsensical one liners. I am mighty! I have a glow you cannot see! I have a heart as big as the moon, as warm as bath water! We are superheroes, man! We don't have time to be charming! The boots of evil were made for walking! Do you dig? Okay, muchacho! Eat dirt! Now Earthworm Jim was as a true and some worm, until a super suit came crashing down from the sky, giving him super strength and a powerful laser gun. Using his head as a whip, he fights evil alongside his companion, Peter Puppy, who when angered becomes an uncontrollable hulking monster. Using his groovy space rocket, the duo went around the galaxy to fight off villainous bad guys, like Evil the Cat. Think Brain from Pinky the Brain if he was a cat. Now I will uncover the location of the book. Not boss, not the book. Yes, the book. The book. Bob, the killer goldfish. He's a fish. Master, the mighty Bob, Lord of all I survey. Go forth and destroy, destroy, destroy. <laughs> and the vilest evil doer of them all, Queen Slug for a butt. With your super suit, I will rule the universe. Well, she can't be any worse than the bozos who rule it now. Just like the Tick, Earthworm Jim is a dim-witted hero that gets into crazy antics through his naive personality. They both have a sidekick to help keep them on track and to help them along the way. It would be interesting to see the two face off against one another because they are so similar in nature. Two dopey heroes with superhuman abilities facing off while shouting funny and confusing one-liners? Sign me up! Villains, I say to you now, knock off all that evil! When all else fails, start blasting! <laughs> Number 9 Come aboard and bring along A battle of the Super Stretchers, Monkey D. Luffy, wannabe king of the pirates, and Master Fantastic, the genius leader of the Fantastic Four. Luffy is the main hero of the anime One Piece, where he, along with his crew, try to find their way to the Grand Line in search of a huge treasure that will make him become king of the pirates. Along the way, Luffy and the gang face off against incredibly strong foes. 
Luckily, Luffy took a bite of the gum gum fruit, which gave him rubber-like abilities like stretching, being immune to electricity, and being immune to physical attacks like hand-to-hand -hand combat, bullets, and even cannonballs. However, it's not all fun in games as Luffy is weak against water, as it nullifies his rubber abilities and even makes it so Luffy can't swim. Something you definitely don't want when you're always out at sea. Luffy, you just ate the gum gum fruit! Part of a group called the Devil Fruits. Eating any of them takes away your ability to swim for the rest of your life. But the one you ate also turns your body to rubber. No way! It can't! Still, he's one tough guy who always finds a way to win in the end. No, Magneto. I let you in before in order to learn your plan to trap you. But now the victory belongs to the Fantastic Four. Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, was a genius inventor and began working on creating a starship with the military. Richards brought along his friends and his girlfriend on a test flight of the starship, when suddenly a blast of cosmic radiation hit the ship causing all of them to receive superhuman abilities. And Richards was the ability to stretch his body to unbelievable lengths. The four of them became known as the Fantastic Four, using their powers to save mankind from evil like Doctor Doom, genius ruler of Latveria, and Galactus, the devourer of worlds. Mr. Fantastic's stretching abilities made him a hero, but his true power is his mind. Mr. Fantastic uses his supreme intellect to outsmart his foes or create devices to save the day. Your magnetic power only works on metal, like all magnets. But my gun isn't real. I made it out of wood, specially to fool you. What? He is known as one of the smartest men in the Marvel Universe, and that's no easy feat. There's a reason why he's the leader of the team. A wooden gun. He tricked me with a wooden gun. The battle between Luffy and Mr. Fantastic would be amazing to witness. While Mr. Fantastic's fighting abilities are nowhere near Luffy's incredible skills, his sharp mind and intellect would make it much more of an even fight. Who would win? The super-stretching pirate who has defeated immensely powerful foes in combat? Or the genius elongating leader of the Fantastic Four. I can think of 14 different ways to seal you in that armor forever. If you mess with friends of mine, then you mess with me. Number 8. Two colossal monsters with incredible strengths pitted against each other. Broly the legendary Super Saiyan, and Hulk, the strongest one there is. Broly is a villain from the Dragon Ball Z movie. He has the power of the legendary Super Saiyan, a power bestowed to the Saiyan race once every thousand years. Broly was born with an unnaturally high power level. Fearing his kingdom might be in danger, the king of the Saiyan race, King Vegeta, ordered his death. Broly survived and would grow up to become one of the most powerful Saiyans to ever exist. Broly has seemingly endless power as he was able to take on multiple Super Saiyans at once. He has so much power that he lost control of his mind and became an unstoppable force with no regard for anyone's safety, even going so far as to kill his own father. Broly is definitely one of the strongest villains that the Z Fighters have ever faced. You think 3 on 1 will do any good? Do you really believe you have enough power to beat me? Hulk is the embodiment of power. He's the self-proclaimed strongest one there is in the Marvel Universe, and that's saying something. He may not have the abilities of some of the other heroes in the comics, but the Hulk's brute strength is definitely the strongest out there. The Hulk was born when Dr. Bruce Banner was exposed to a gamma radiation explosion. Banner survived the blast, but a beast was creating inside of him. Whenever Banner became angry, he would transform and become the Hulk. No one could stop the Hulk. He has faced some of Marvel's strongest heroes, like Wolverine and Thor. Hulk has some healing ability and is able to recover from any injury in time. Hulk is already naturally strong, but the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets, and there's no limit to his rage. Hulk was always an uncontrollable beast, but years later, Banner was finally able to reach through and now he and the Hulk share a mind together. This makes the Hulk all the more powerful as he has the genius mind of Bruce Banner with the immeasurable strength of the Hulk. Hulk! 
is strongest than It's a battle for the ages. Broly may have a ton more attacks than just his fist, but Hulk's healing ability and rage induced power is enough to compensate for it. Two of the strongest fighters in animation coming together to fight it out to prove who is the strongest. Broly, the unstoppable legend. Or Hulk, the monster with unlimited strength. <laughs> if you wish not to fight back, I understand. But I am going to destroy this planet no matter what. <laughs> Walk me, come and get me. Number seven. I got you with my winning smile. I'm a living lesson in flair and style. Just can't help but stare at myself while fair. Check out next to death, nerd computer ace. When serpent on the internet. We have presented this battle before in a previous Toon Tally, where you voted for your favorite Cuckoo Crusader. The result was a draw, and so now it's time for these two crazed heroes to face each other to see which nut is harder to crack. The Mask, with the power of Loki, God of Mischief, and Freakazoid, the internet personified. The mask came to be when all around loser Stanley Ipkiss came across an ancient wooden mask. He tried it on and his whole world changed. Stanley transformed into the mask. With a bright green head and a snazzy yellow tux, the mask has reality bending abilities and cartoon like invulnerability. The mask can create any object out of thin air. He can shapeshift his body into other forms and stretch and mold it in any way he desires. The mask may be crazy, but he's as sharp as they come. He can find his way out of dangerous situations all while having fun along the way. Oh, look out! This is perfect! Okay! Hi, I'm Freakazoid. Now these messages. Freakazoid is not much different. Dexter Douglas was just a nerdy 16 year old kid when he got sucked into cyberspace and became imbued with the power of the internet and became Freakazoid. Freakazoid has superhuman strength, agility, speed, and all kinds of zany powers whenever he feels like it. Freakazoid is a crazed nut job, as anyone would be with all the knowledge and randomness of the internet inside of them. He's one smart dude when he wants to be, but most of the time he just wants to have fun. Oh, freak out! To the hop! These two heroes would be a great matchup. They both are loony in the head and have the ability to do almost anything they want. Their cartoony powers and attitude makes them unpredictable and funny. You never know what you're going to get. That didn't work out. Just one tug and I'm... Definitely gonna need a longer sleeve. Number six. In a future where our favorite heroes can no longer protect the city, these two step up to become the defenders the world needs. Terry McGinnis, the high-tech cape crusader of Batman Beyond, and Miguel O'Hara, the webbed hero of the future. Years after Bruce Wayne gave up the cape and cowl, Gotham City became a city of crime. People had to learn to fend for themselves and one such person was 16 year old Terry McGinnis. While fleeing from a Joker's gang, Terry ends up on Wayne Manor where old Bruce Wayne helps him fight up the troublemakers. However, Bruce gets a mild heart attack and asks Terry to get him his medication. This is where Terry stumbles across the Batcave. Bruce kicks him out. 
But after his father is killed, Terry breaks into the back cave and steals one of the high tech suits to go after his father's killer. After convincing Bruce to let him keep the suit and the fact that they both lost their parents to criminals, Bruce helps Terry by advising him through the suit's camera. And so the story of Batman Beyond began. <laughs> Terry's Batman is not as well of a fighter as Bruce was, but he can hold his own after years of being a juvenile delinquent. The Batsuit comes with everything you expect out of Batman, along with the jet wing and boot thruster to glide through the air. The suit also gives Terry superior strength, stamina, agility, and the ability to cloak himself. Synaptic controls, neuromuscular amplification, flight capability. <laughs> this thing might be old, but it's still cutting edge. Bet it amplifies your strength by at least 10 to 1. He also has the Batmobile which can fly through the air as all future cars can. Terry is a great addition to the Batman roster and has proven himself to fill the role. He may not be as cunning and experienced as Bruce Wayne, but with the original Bat by his side there is nothing the two can't accomplish together. That ain't coming out of my allowance. Right now, you need to listen to me. There's someone after you. Yeah? Well, welcome to my life pretty much every day. Miguel O'Hara was the head of Alchemax, a genetic program intended on creating super-powered soldiers. After a failed experiment kills a test subject, Miguel tries to quit. However, he is drugged and would be arrested if he left the premises. Miguel tries to get his body back to normal using the Alchemax. But after a jealous subordinate sabotages the machine, Miguel's DNA becomes half spider, causing him to get spider abilities similar to the original Spider-Man. Using his new abilities, Miguel dons a costume and becomes the new Spider-Man. He has all the same powers as the original Spidey, except the spider sense. However, he makes up for this by having accelerated vision, allowing him to see great distances, in the dark, and even has infrared vision. He has a healing factor as well as sharp talons and fangs full of paralyzing venom, and he can produce web from his own wrist naturally. Miguel is one tough guy to take down. His abilities outnumber those of the original Spider-Man, a true evolution of the hero. He's like Spidey if he had more spider in him. He is truly a Spider-Man. It's like no one's ever really beaten. They keep coming back, causing more chaos. Dude, I so hear you. Both of these heroes live up to the originals. Their futuristic background and reincarnations of past heroes will make a battle between them one to remember. I'm about to quit this gig, so congratulations. You get to be one of my last catches. A little early for Halloween. But just in time for fall. Number 5 Two of the best reptilian fighting teams coming together to face off. With superpowers and smash hits, the Battletoads. And Heroes in a Half Shell, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Battletoads was a video game series in the 90s about a trio of oddly named Toad Warriors. Rash, Pimple, and Zitch. After Pimple and Princess Angelica are kidnapped by the evil Dark Queen, Rash and Zitz venture across space to find them and defeat the Dark Queen. There are two versions of the Battletoads backstory, so I'll be going by the cartoon. A group of junior high school nerds were playing an arcade game with Tilly, Professor T, Bird, and Princess Angelica burst from the machine. They were being chased by the Dark Queen's forces. And so using the Toad Essence, they transformed the nerds into the most legendary warriors in the universe, the Battletoads. Dave? You're a toad. Hey, this wasn't part of the deal. Of course it was. You're the Battletoads, the greatest heroes in the history of the universe. The Battletoads have the ability to grow and morph their arms and legs into any shape, from mallets to bulldozers. They can leap incredible distances and have super agility and strength. With the help of Professor T. Bird and his crazy inventions, they can find their way out of any situation. Let's hear it. Toads rule! A 
boy was waiting at a crosswalk when suddenly a large truck containing mutagen came careening out of control, causing him to drop his tank of four pet turtles into the sewer. They became covered in a mutagenic goop, where they were found by a sewer rat named Splinter. He took them into his home where they all slowly transformed into humanoids. Using his knowledge of martial arts, he trained them to fight and named them after renaissance painters. Leonardo, the leader of the group. Donatello, the brains of the bunch. Raphael, the rude and ruthless. And Michelangelo, the goof. Together, they became known as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The turtles have faced off against many enemies while protecting their city. The turtles will fight off the villains using their martial arts skills and their signature weapon. Leonardo wields two katana. Michelangelo with nunchucks. Donatello with the wooden staff. And Raphael with dual size. They have defeated Shredder, the deadly head of the Foot Clan, a group of ninja warriors. They have gone up against Krang, a warlord from a far off dimension. And his Technodrome, a giant tank of a battle fortress. Both of these reptilian teams have great abilities and would definitely be a match of the century. Who do you think would win? The Battletoads with their superpower fists? Or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with their ninja skills? Let's get warning! Let's rule! They aren't insane! They're evil freaks! Call the police! Call the National Guard! So, uh, no standing ovation? Number four. Pocket Monsters vs Digital Monsters Who would prevail? Pokemon with their trainers by their side or Digimon with the powers of virtues? Now there are tons, and I mean tons, of Pokemon and Digimon out there. You can find a good matchup between many of them. War Greymon vs Charizard A fiery dinosaur monster and Digimon of the show's main protagonist Ty against Charizard, the final evolved dragon of Pokemon's main protagonist Ash. Lucario vs Renamon, two monsters who use their minds as well as their bodies to their full potential. Zoodlemon, the giant turtle Digimon, vs Blastoise, the water gun shell turtle Pokemon, both with strong control over water. There are tons and tons of combinations possible that can come from these two series. It would be amazing to watch both shows come together to see which monsters dominate. Digimon and Pokemon both have their own trainers slash Digidestin to lead the way for their sides. They both have their own versions of super powerful monsters and evolutions. Which side would prevail? Me. <laughs> Pikachu. Pika? You know I'm not about to give up. I say let's show him how strong we are. Pika. Pika, we got you. You're dealing with the new and improved Digi Destin. That's impossible. How did you dig it all without your crests? Nothing's impossible. At least not when you've got your friends helping you. You said it, man. Now, time to fight. Number three. Behold, the shrink ray. What's the matter, Neutron? Aren't you short enough already? Funny, Cindy. <laughs> but this device is more suited to shrink something as vast as space itself. Like, say, um, your mouth. <laughs> The cybernetic power suit increases the wearer's natural attributes 100 fold. The Battle of the Boy Geniuses. Jimmy Neutron, the kid with a gadget for every situation. And Dexter, the non-stop invention making machine. James Isaac Neutron made his debut in his own Nickelodeon movie, but soon got his own TV show, The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. Alongside his friends in Retroville, Jimmy always gets into some crazy antics, most of the time caused by his own inventions. But Jimmy always seems to find a solution to any problem. Jimmy has his favorite robot dog Goddard and a slew of inventions made in his lab. 
He has made a hovercraft, which is his main source of transportation. But he has also made various spaceships and even a time machine, which he uses on several occasions. He also has several inventions he keeps with him daily, such as a communication watch with a built-in laser, shoes with hover capabilities, and a shrink ray. Due to his freaking troublemaking, Jimmy is not without his villains. There's Professor Finbar Calamitous, a genius inventor like him but can never finish anything. King Goobot, the first foe Jimmy and his friends faced when he kidnapped all the adults in Retroville. And various other aliens and geniuses that the group have come across. Jimmy always seems to get into trouble with his crazy gadgets. But by using his brain blast, he always seems to find a way out and save the day. Oh, come on. Think, think, think. Dexter was born a genius and began making inventions before he could even talk. He is a master inventor and has created some of the world's most incredible inventions in a secret laboratory. It is here where Dexter spends his day creating everything from an unlimited power source to his greatest invention, his Robo Dexel 2000. Dexter makes tons of inventions, but his most popular invention seems to be robots. Dexter has made robots in all shapes and sizes, some of which he uses to save the world. Dexter's greatest foe is not an evil force, but his naive and dim-witted sister Dee Dee, who always breaks into Dexter's lab and destroys his inventions. No matter how hard Dexter tries, Dee Dee finds a way in and wrecks his lab. Dexter also has an arch rival, Mandark, who is a genius like him but with his own dark agenda. Dexter and Mandark are almost evenly intelligent, but Dexter always gets the upper hand and defeats him, usually by taking advantage of Mandark's weakness, his love for his sister Dee Dee. With his secret lab and his wrench in hand, Dexter has accomplished many amazing feats and has saved the world on several occasions. Dexter is definitely a boy genius. What do we do now? Just to sit back and hang on, for Dexter, boy genius is in command. Jimmy and Dexter would make a perfect duo to face off. They are both genius inventors from rival companies, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. They both have their own style of inventions, from Dexter's grand projects and robotic skills, to Jimmy's talent in all forms of small and useful inventions that always seem to save the day. Having these two come together would be the matchup of the century. How can I get their hand? You attacked my friends, and you made fun of my size! Tiny, tiny! Oh, so, so tiny! I may be small, but I've got a big brain! No! Not tiny! Number 2 Frozen in a time and space divide Would the universe survive? Dark torches of the 24th and one half century. Dwelling death of mystery, check me out the right. Swoops out of the shadows, dark feet of the night. Somewhere some villain schemes, but his numbers are three, two, one. It's a quack attack! Two clumsy duck heroes needing to face off! Duck Dodgers of the 24th and 1 half century! And Darkwing Duck, the hero of the night! I was originally gonna go with Daffy Duck vs Donald Duck, but I feel that this matchup would be more entertaining and is very similar. In fact, Duck Dodgers is Daffy Duck! Wait a minute, I am Duck Dodgers! Yes, I'm going to be the hero of this picture! Duck Dodgers to the rescue! Frozen for over 300 years, he is revived by Dr. IQ in the 24th century. Duck Dodgers lies to everyone and makes them believe that he was a hero in the 21st century. They give him command of his own spaceship and provide him with a sidekick known only as the Eager Young Space Cadet. Together they fly around the galaxy and save the day. Duck Dodgers is a clumsy ignorant duck who is always getting into trouble and making mistakes. 
His cadet is almost always the one who solves the problem and saves Duck Dodgers, while he takes all the credit. It doesn't matter because cadet is loyal to Duck Dodgers and looks up to him. However, Duck Dodgers often saves the day through sheer luck or his rare acts of heroism. He carries with him a laser gun, and being attuned, he can take a lot of punishment, such as being blown up or crushed, and recovers quickly. Duck Dodgers is very selfish and conceited, but he does believe he is the hero he claims to be and will go off into danger to save the day. if you don't say the name. Another order of dastardly delinquents deposited on your doorstep courtesy of Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck is the unappreciated hero of St. Canard. He protects the city from desperate villains using his superhero gadgets and his teammates, Gosselin and Launchpad McQuack. Gosselin is an orphan that Darkwing adopts in his first adventure in the cartoon series. She is a spunky, tough little gal who is not afraid to defend Darkwing from evildoers. Launchpad McQuack is a fanboy of Darkwing and his personal pilot. He is a bit dim-witted and may not be the best at making landings, but Launchpad is always there to help DW when he needs it. Oh, that's reverse. I thought it was Park. Launchpad? Launchpad! What are you doing here? Yeah, the, the, this was left behind when the cops took you away. I was coming to bail you out. Guess there's no point to that now. Just like Duck Dodgers, Darkwing Duck is very egotistical and is always looking to get attention for his heroic deeds. He always spews out heroic lines and is always making his presence known to all. Darkwing carries with him a variety of gadgets to help him stop crying, including his gas gun, a pistol that can fire a number of different projectiles at his enemies, and a grappling hook, definitely a necessity in the big city. Darkwing is also a skilled acrobat and fighter. He can take on bad guys hand to hand and dodge attacks. Darkwing Duck is truly a hero and will always be there to save the city from danger and evildoers. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the winged scourge that pecks at your nightmares. I am Darkwing Duck. Having these two meet up would be the best combination you can get out of Warner Brothers and Disney's famous ducks. While Darkwing Duck may not be Donald, having these two egotistical ducks face off would be an amazing spectacle to see. That was amazing. It's, it's not at my level, of course, but that's still pretty impressive. Number one. the world's greatest and most powerful heroes, Goku, the Saiyan warrior and defender of Earth, and the Man of Steel himself, Superman. Goku is one of the sole survivors of an alien race known as the Saiyan. As a baby, Goku was sent out to conquer planet Earth, just before the evil ruler Frieza arrived and destroyed his home planet. Upon landing on Earth, Goku was discovered by an old man named Gohan, and due to his violent nature, Goku fell and hit his head, changing him into a lighthearted boy. One night, Goku looked up at the moon and transformed into a giant ape, killing Gohan and leaving him alone to survive in the wilderness. It is there where Goku met a girl named Bulma, and the two set out to find the mythical Dragon Balls to have their wish come true. Goku faced many enemies in his journey, each one stronger than the last. After years of fighting and training, Goku became the most powerful mortal in the entire universe. There are multiple universes in Dragon Ball now, but that's another story. Goku may act like a kid, but when he gets serious, Goku can fight better than anyone else. He can fire Ki Blast from his hand and has his trademark moves, the Kamehameha and the Spirit Bomb, a giant orb of energy that destroys enemies with an evil soul. Goku has a perfect fighting sense and can fight against incredibly strong and fast foes. Among Goku's greatest accomplishments are his victories over Frieza, the galaxy's strongest entity at the time. 
and defeating Boo, an immensely powerful magical creature that can absorb the bodies of other fighters and use their power for his own. Goku has reached a legendary transformation known as Super Saiyan, and has gone beyond it multiple times, reaching Super Saiyan 2 and 3. Goku has even learned to tap into the power of the gods, the most powerful force known at the time this video comes out, and transforming into Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> Goku may be the strongest fighter in the universe, but he still has his weaknesses. Goku loves to fight and will willingly wait for his opponent to become as strong as possible before defeating him. That's it! You go right on up to 100! The only reason I'm waiting so patiently for this grand unveiling is to have the honor of taking you down at your best! Because regret's one thing I won't be fighting! This has gotten Goku into some very deep situations and has almost killed him many times. However, Goku has fought against the strongest foes from across the universe and has proven himself time and time again that he can break any limit to defeat his opponent. It looks like it's the end of the road, Boo. It's a darn shame. Maybe you'll come back someday as, as a better person, I hope. I'd like that. Perhaps we'll have a little one-on-one. -on -one. Adios. What we have here is a rare opportunity for me to cut loose and show you just how powerful I really am. Faster than a speeding bullet, stronger than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, it's Superman! Man of Steel! Superman! Superman needs no introduction. He is probably the world's most famous superhero, but I will give you a quick rundown of his history. Superman was born as Kal-El and sent in a spaceship to Earth in order to escape the destruction of his home planet. He crashed in the field and was found by the Kent family, who adopted him and named him Clark. However, Clark was no normal alien baby. Soon Clark began to get powers, which he learned came from Earth's yellow sun. He decided to use these powers to help mankind in the American way, and so he donned a cape and became Superman. Superman has a ton of superpowers. He has super strength, enough to move entire planets. He can fly and run at super speed. He has freeze breath, laser vision, x-ray vision, invulnerability, healing abilities, super hearing, and pretty much anything he needs. Superman is considered to be one of the strongest heroes in all the comic books, and that is saying a lot considering everyone he has to surpass. Superman has saved the world countless times and has faced off against some of the universe's strongest creatures, like Doomsday, the unstoppable killing machine so powerful he almost killed Superman himself, and even the god Darkseid. Superman may be all powerful, but he does have a few weaknesses. Everybody knows about Kryptonite, the radioactive green stone of his lost home world that causes Superman to become weak and could kill him if exposed long enough. Superman also has another weakness, the Red Sun. He gets his power from the Yellow Sun, and when exposed to a Red Sun, he becomes a normal human being pretty much. He loses all his powers and cannot regain them until he is exposed to a yellow sun again. Still, with these two strong weaknesses, Superman always manages to overcome his obstacles. He has the power to face the gods and Superman's strength knows no bounds. He always rises to the occasion and saves the day. I feel like I live in a world made of cardboard, always taking constant care not to break something, to break someone. Never allowing myself to lose control, even for a moment, or someone could die. But you can take it, can't you, big man? This is a matchup that fans have been wanting forever. Two of the world's strongest and greatest heroes to fight it out to see who would win. They both have similar origin stories and immense power. Some see Goku as Japan's Superman, and I can see why. These two heroes have shaped the world and have proven themselves to be the strongest. So who would win? Superman, the man who stands for truth, justice, and the American way. Or Goku, the same warrior who can surpass any limit. the hope of the universe I am the answer to all living things that cry out for peace I am protector of the innocent I am the light in the darkness I am truth ally to good nightmare to you and there you have it the top 10 tune battles we love to see if you enjoyed the list be sure to check out my friends over at screw attack to see some of these battles brought to life through animation in a show they call death battle 
They have done Zip from Battletoads vs. Leonardo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Pokemon vs. Digimon, and even Goku vs. Superman. They do awesome work so be sure to check them out. Anyways, if you think any other matchups should have made it onto the list, be sure to leave your suggestion in the comments below and see which fights everyone else wants to see. Also, be sure to stay to the end to see the runner-ups that didn't make it into the top 10. The runner-ups are always shown at the end of each episode, so check them out. But for now, it's time for... <laughs> Last episode, we asked you to vote on whether you think old cartoons should be rebooted for a new generation or not. Now for the results. The winner is... Yes! Cartoons should be rebooted. Looks like we can never get enough of our favorite tunes. Now for the next... Toon Tally. Duck Decision. Which cartoon duck do you like best? Daffy Duck? Or Donald Duck? Since this matchup didn't make it onto the list, I'd like to know which duck is your favorite. Vote by clicking the I in the top right corner or by clicking the link in the description below. Be sure to come back next episode to see which Mighty Mallard is victorious. Thanks for watching everyone! If you're new here, why not subscribe to catch the next episode as soon as it goes live! Also, be sure to leave a suggestion for next episode's list! Top 10 Non-Disney Animated Movie Songs It can be any song from an animated movie that is not made by Disney! Leave your suggestion in the comments below and it just might make it onto the list! Thanks again for watching and see you all next time! Danger! Ha! I walk on the wild side! I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> <laughs>